Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, my bully copied my outfit. You guys can go to heycuties.com right now to get your new plushies. And then we'll all have a bestie plushie and then we'll all just be like besties. My favorite part is the purse because it comes off because it's Velcro. I like the hair because it's black and pink, which is our favorite colors. Go get your bestie plushie before they're all gone. Hurry, you guys don't want to miss it. <sighs> Work is not for the week. I don't know why they don't teach you how hard having a job is in school. Working at this grocery store is seriously kicking my butt. But at least having a job has given me a little spending money. Cleaning up around the house was seriously not cutting it. Okay, there's gotta be enough here to at least get something worth buying. And 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars? My god, finally I have enough money to buy something cool. Early? Guy, why are you whispering? Oh no, you didn't lose your voice, did you? Oh, I thought you were at work and I thought you said your boss had a strict no phone policy. So when I called, I had to whisper. No, no, I'm pretty sure I said my boss has a no phone policy. So I can't talk when I'm at work, but I'm off now. Oh yeah, I may have made up that last part. So, what's up? I was counting the money that I made so far and I have $50. Whoa, holy cash in this, girly. You've literally only been there for a week. I know, and I finally have enough to afford something cool. So, what are you gonna get? I don't know yet, but I know just where to look. Christmas is coming up and wearing a cool new shirt to school will be perfect to get me into the holiday spirit. I know where this is going, so are you thinking rock star? Sometimes I think you know me better than I know myself. It's my job, girly. So, meet me there? Yeah, let's meet in 10. I'll see you there. See you, Kenzie. Moments later. Whoa, good for us. 10 minutes on the dot. No, they always say punctuality is key. Who says that? I don't know, people. Okay, well, let's start looking around. The perfect shirt isn't just gonna jump out at us. We're gonna have to find it. Whoa, what about this? Sky, this is my first purchase I earned with money at work. Can't be something so basic. Keep looking. Uh, what about this? Uh, nope. What about this? Uh, what about that over there? Ick. For heaven's sake, girly, what do you want then? I'm sorry, I just want it to be perfect. What about this? Here, let me see that. That is so cute, girly. I love it. Wow, I love it too. You have pretty good taste, Sky. Oh, I agree, if I do say so myself. This will be perfect to wear to school. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. The next day. Wow, girly, you really do look like a million bucks. I know. People always say it's not about how you look, but how you feel. And then it's what's on the inside that matters and blah, 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 blah. But I've really never felt better ever since I got this shirt. I really think clothes equals happiness. See, I've been telling you that for years. It's about time you started listening to me. Well, it just so happens on that subject, you're totally right. Early, I am always right. When are you gonna realize that? Ew, Mackenzie, what on earth are you wearing? Oh, here we go. It's called a shirt, Ashley. Maybe if you paid a little bit more attention in class, you know what it was called. I know what a shirt is, you freak. Oh, that's good, Ashley, because if you didn't, I would be pretty nervous. Shut up, Ayla. Seriously, though, Mackenzie, where did you get that shirt? I got it from Rockstar. Why? Oh, I could have sworn you got it from the kids club. I mean, really? Wearing pink is bad enough, but rainbows too? I am embarrassed for you. You can say whatever you want, Ashley, but I like my shirt. Yeah, I'd like it too if I was a pink leprechaun. Yeah, a three-year-old leprechaun. That was actually a good one, Ayla, but I'm going to use it next time, but I'm definitely not going to give you the credit for it. Aw, Ashley, did you just give me a compliment? Don't get used to it. Good morning, students. It's getting closer to Christmas time. I was expecting you to all come to school dressed up in the holiday spirit. Whoa, really? We can start wearing our holiday clothes to school? Yes, you can wear whatever you want. Well, as long as it's school appropriate, of course. Oh, awesome. This is going to be rad. Forget wearing Christmas clothes. I'm just going to wear my new shirt again tomorrow. Ew, just wash it first, girly, and make your mom put those little scented laundry beads in, too. A few moments later. I have the most genius plan to what to wear for school this week. Ooh, ooh, what is it? Wait, let me guess. Ugh, you'll never guess what it is, you idiot. Mrs. Claus? Rudolph? An L? Mila, stop guessing. You'll never get it. And besides, it's not a costume. Oh, what are those DIY things? Or is it DIY? Just give up already because you'll never get it. But trust me, it's gonna be genius. Well, what are you gonna tell me? Ugh, fine, just follow me. Meanwhile. Why are we in Rockstar? I didn't know they sold Christmas outfits here. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not buying a Christmas outfit? Ugh, forget it, you're useless. Let me just do this myself. Um, hello, are you gonna ask how you can help me? Oh, sorry about that, I was just finishing up an online order. Do I look like I care? Listen, I need a 
shark. Well, you've come to the right place. Don't snark me. That's my job. Okay, listen. I need to buy the shirt that the loser bought yesterday. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. What do you mean by loser in the first place? I love the losers club in the movie It, but I can tell you none of them shop here. No, ugh, why is everyone so helpless? The loser who was here yesterday. Blonde hair, dresses in all pink, you know, just an overall freak with a red-headed sidekick. She's actually really pretty. Shut up, Ayla, she is not. Oh, the girl who was here yesterday, buying the rainbow shirt. Yes, that's her. I need to buy the exact same shirt. I think I have one more in the back. Wait here and I'll go get it for you. Um, Ashley, why are you buying Mackenzie's shirt if you didn't even really like it in the first place? Like I told you, I have a plan. The next day. I don't know if it's just because it's the second day that I'm just loving that shirt on you more and more. I know, isn't it great? I think there's just something special about this shirt. It really just puts the whole outfit together. Uh-oh. Sky, what is it? I don't think you're the only one who feels that way, girly. Oh, look, I guess being a freak is a popular outfit this year. And here, I thought let you be the only one. <gasps> Ashley, why are you wearing the same shirt as me? Where did you even get it? Rockstar, even you told me where to go. Yeah, but why are you wearing it? I thought you said it looked like it was from like the kids club or something like that. Oh, it does, but I needed it for it to be part of my outfit. What outfit, Ashley? Just your regular old bully? Oh no, I'm dressing up as a loser. So you can see, Mackenzie, why I needed to copy your outfit in order to get it right. Get it? Because you're a loser. She bought the same shirt as you. So she'd look like a loser too. Oh my god, we get it, Ayla. <laughs> Wait, was it something I said? Kenzie! Meanwhile. Carly, are you okay? Am I okay? Sky, of course I'm not okay. You totally just humiliated me in there. I can never go back in that classroom ever again. Carly, you can't let Ashley just bother you like that. She's just a bully, and that's what bullies do. They make you feel bad because it makes them feel better. Copy my outfit? That's even low for Ashley. You know what? You should be flattered. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And besides, she could never rock the shirt the way that you do. You really think so? Girly, the leprechaun at the end of that rainbow probably got up and left. That shirt just looks ridiculous on her. You wear it even better any day of the week. Even when you're crying and have snot on your face. Ew. Well, you could have told me that. I just it's not like I was going to let you walk back into class without saying something. So what do you think? Are you ready to go back in? I don't think so. I can't face Ashley again today. You can't let her win, Mackenzie. You just need to stand up to her. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm still really upset. I could really use a mental health day. I think I'm just going to go home. Okay, girly. I'll see you later, okay? Sure. Thanks, guy. Moments later. Oh. really rotten thing you did to Mackenzie. <gasps> How dare you? Ashley isn't rotten. She smells amazing. I love smelling Ashley. Oh my god, Ayla, you are such an idiot. She didn't mean literally. And ew, also that's super creepy, so don't ever smell me again. Sorry! It was just a harmless prank sky. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Maybe to you it was, but it wasn't to me and Mackenzie. You may have dressed like her, but you will never be Mackenzie. You wish you could be as nice and kind-hearted as she is. One hour later. Mackenzie, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I just wanted to tell you how nice it was for you to send me flowers when I was sick last week. Not every student would think to do that, but you did. You are the nicest and kindest student I've ever had in my class. Um, I'm sorry. Would you like to explain any of this to me? You know, those flowers that you gave me last week. Yeah, that wasn't me. I didn't give you anything. Mackenzie? No, Ashley. Whoops, my bad. I must have seen the shirt and the blonde hair. Well, never mind. Ugh, weirdo. Later that same evening. Hi, Mom. I'm home. Ugh, why do you think I care, Ashley? It's not like I've been counting down the minutes for you to get here. Sorry. Huh, what? Oh, nothing. It's just that you actually look good for once. Meanwhile. Ashley, what are you doing here? And if you plan on copying my pajamas, I will be putting them on for another hour or so. Ugh, why do you always have to make this so difficult? Me? Make things difficult? I've never made anything difficult for you. Look, I was coming to apologize to you, loser. Wait, that came out wrong. Listen, I'm sorry for copying your outfit. Really? You are? Yeah, it wasn't cool, and I'm sorry. I thought it would be funny, but I guess it wasn't that funny after all. No, it wasn't. It really hurt my feelings. Well, I get that now, and that's why I'm saying sorry. Maybe it's the dumb shirt, but I think it's starting to rub off on me. What do you mean? Well, apparently, a teacher's words 
it's not mine. You're actually kind of nice and sweet. Really? You think so? Again, a teacher's words, not mine. But maybe she's right just a touch. You are nice in a freak sort of way, and there is nothing wrong with your shirt. You know, being nice is kind of easy. If you want, I could give you some pointers. Don't push it, Mackenzie. Got it. So, are we cool? Are we cool? Ew, why would you think that? Because you just admitted that I was nice? Yeah, well, you are, but I'm still gonna bully you around other people. All right, fair enough. 